It's important to proceed cautiously while discussing Jessica Knight's potential exit from NCIS in season 22 to prevent the show from suffering. Knight's replacement ought to be there for a minimum of two seasons, not just like Jennifer Esposito did for one, in order to maintain stability. NCIS needs to strike a balance between returning and new characters in order to keep viewers interested even after 21 seasons. Eight years ago, NCIS created a precedent that it should never follow, particularly in regards to how it handles Jessica Knight's potential exit. The episode that concluded season 21 of NCIS set up Katrina Law's departure from the show. Accepting a promotion to chief reactive training officer, Jess was sent to Camp Pendleton in California. It's a good idea to wait for Jessica Knight's formal NCIS leaving announcement before making any assumptions. When NCIS if returns in the fall with NCIS season 22, there's a fair chance the major case response team will gain a new member if she departs. Over its 21 seasons on CBS, NCIS has a great deal of experience adjusting to change. Characters on NCIS have been coming and disappearing, and actors have been switching up roles every season. In the event that Katrina Law's role in NCIS season 22 is replaced, the show needs to consider who would take her place. NCIS has to take care not to replicate any incidents that could harm the show while doing this. CBS must take this into account during the changeover, even if it is impossible to completely prevent this precedent. Jennifer Esposito enrolled in season 14 of NCIS, but left after just one season. The regular NCIS cast member with the shortest lifespan was Alexandra Quinn. The Blue Blood star began filming NCIS season 14 in the role of Alexandra Quinn. NCIS season 22's Jessica Knight replacement needs to stay away from the dangerous precedent set by Jennifer Esposito. The actor from Blue Bloods joined the roster of NCIS for season 14, playing Alexandra Quinn, and that was the only season she remained with the show. Esposito joined the cast as a regular at the beginning of the season. She did, however, leave the show following the season finale in order to care for her mother. Because of this, Esposito's character was the only regular cast member of NCIS to only appear in one season of the program. Why the replacing Jessica Knight needs to stay for more than one season? The replacing Jessica Knight would have to stay for a few seasons. The next member of MCRT needs to be a long-term NCIS cast member in order to avoid what happened to Esposito. In season 19, the show saw Mark Harmon leave NCIS as the lead actor made the decision to put up his hat. Later on in NCIS season 21, it said goodbye to Ducky following the 90-year-old David McCallum's passing. In season 18, Jessica Knight herself entered the show to take Eleanor Bishop, played by Emily Wickersham. Even though NCIS is accustomed to switching up its cast, it now needs consistency more than ever, which may include a stable cast for the foreseeable future. The new and the old must be balanced on NCIS. Knight's replacement must maintain a consistent presence and bring stability. Knight's replacement might stir a risky pattern for actresses to follow if she ended up being the second regular cast member to remain on the show for just one season. If the NCIS cast fluctuated in each season, the rotating model would not function. For fans to be familiar with the show and have a reason to keep watching NCIS after 21 seasons, a few key cast members must stay.